everybody and welcome back to Noisy Works. Today we have the fifth iteration of the resin testing gauntlet. This time we are featuring Nova 3D. We have their water washable, we have their prime and we have the high transparency resin giving us these beautiful looking clear resin prints. Full disclosure as always, this resin was shipped to me for free, I did not have to pay for it, no money exchange chance so I can be as unbiased as possible. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm testing resins, I do pull tests, I push tests, I do some drilling and tapping and then I put it in a chart and show you what I think about it. If you want to know more about the resin testing gauntlet, there's a playlist right up there where I did, I think now, four resin testing gauntlets. This is the fifth one. Now that's enough talking, let's go down into the testing machine. First, let's start with the print details. This is the water washable, and like many other resins, the water washable provided some great prints. The supports came out great, they were not hard to remove, and all the details are nice and present. We have a nice looking Yoda bust. The resin block that we are going to use for the tap and drill tests came out really weird. We have a massive high spot right over here. This block is not square at all, so I'm very interested in how this is going to turn out. Then we have the nut and bolt test. We have not tested the threads, but the threads are looking fine. The nut also looks really good. Let's try them out. And we have a perfect print. This just threads in perfectly. We have perfect threads, perfect printer dimensions. This is a perfect print, a perfect model. Warping, not good. We have potato chips right over here. This one is very, very warped. And if we look at it that on, we can see it is making some weird curvatures. As you can see, this is absolutely crooked. So this resin really has an issue with warping. Then the next one is the high transparency and as you can see this is a clear-ish resin. Now it's super clear when it comes out of the resin vat and the manufacturer told me that to, in order to put this in a clear state you have to oil up this little man. So I did and this is the result. Now I was able to print this resin block so we have some sort of a testing that we can do. This is by far the only thing except for this miniature that we could print and remove the supports from because lo and behold this was the strength test that I was supposed to do and this thing was impossible to remove without cracking the object. So this resin seems to be built only for miniatures with minimal supports and that is just what I did. So I have printed this little yoga man but in the uh, let's call it the extra large size and to get it clear I have coated this one with the clear spray can and like you can see this is a nice and clear print. So this is very cool if you want to make some things that needs to be clear. If you are going to wash it with some IPA this is the color it will turn out but if you want to get it really clear you will have to use some spray cans and then we have the prime the prime came out great this little yoda man just turned out a perfect print really easy to remove so no much trouble in there all the details are present this is just a nice print the full resin block also came out really weird this block is not square at all we have a high spot right over here so this block is going to be very interesting to test warping the prime did better than the water washable but we still have some potato chipping little sticks right over here aren't as bad but this one is also very warped so as you can see right now this one is also very severely warped for the testing. The nut and bolt test it looks to me that this is also a very good print all the details are present let's try and turn it on. It's a bit harder to turn it on but I think with enough force <laughs> nope we are binding up, so we were very close to perfect printed dimensions. I do not see that the threads are a bit uh, funny looking, so I think that with a little bit less exposure, we were able to turn on the knot, but it looks like the printer resolution is very good. One thing I forgot to mention on the high transparency resin is that the threads are almost non-existent so we lost all thread detail i'm not going to bother to even remove this we lost all the detail of the threads so like always the miniature test turned out great i think any resin can print the miniature now it's time to see how strong they are right here in the testing machine
this is going to be the final test where we are going to drill and tap into this resin blocks and then torque it step by step until it breaks. We are going to pre-drill it with a 4mm, finally drill it with a 6.8 and tap it with an M8. So we are going to start at 5 newton and work our way up until it breaks. And we hear it cracking at 19. And we have a fail at 21. This is a cool example of how the bolt is in the resin block. We can see that the stress was too much for the resin, so we busted open the block. Really cool shot. And we have a fail at 21. We have five. And I can hear it cracking. It's uh, safe to say that 23 failed. <laughs> so this is the remaining piece of that resin block that totally shattered inside the vise. And this is just super cool to look at. Look at this guys. This is so nice to look at. So this is the thread definition. It looks like we managed to make some decent looking threads. It is not perfect, they are a bit broken up, but this was just really cool to do. Then we have the prime. The prime also managed to get out some decent threads. I would say that the definition isn't that great. So this top side is the one that we didn't use for the uh, bolt. And we can see that it's a little bit um, on the weaker side, but we managed to get some great results. And then we had the water washable, which was a bit like a tough like. It has a bit of a flexibility in it. We don't have any blowout in the back. We have a bit of a lesser result, but all by all. All of these managed to get a drill into it. They all felt a bit weak. They all felt a bit brittle going in with the second drill. We could see a lot of resin popping out, which is not a good sign, which means it's very brittle, especially the uh, prime one. The water washable was, was much better, but again, we saw that this one was very brittle when drilling it. So this is 100% only for looks, not for some mechanical use cases. The bottle design is fairly good, it's rounded, I like the more square shaped size because they store better but they do not get very messy. So we're going to do a quick smell test. We are going to start with the water washable. It's very resiny, it smells a lot like the other water washables that I already tested. It's not great, it's not bad, somewhere in between. Then we have the high transparency. Man, this is so soft, I really have to try to smell something. I think this is the best smelling resin I have ever tested in the resin testing gauntlet. Nice. Yeah, the Prime is definitely very stinky. This is smelling a lot like the Anycubic Eco. That resin also smells really bad. Yeah. This is super good, you do not smell anything. So, first place, this one. This is the best resin I ever smelled in resin testing gauntlet. This is somewhere in between. This is a very bad smelling resin in the resin testing gauntlet, so yeah. So now it's time for a conclusion and look where they end up in the resin testing gauntlet. We have the Nova Prime. 
that tested in the pull test as one of the best at 444 newton meters quickly followed by the yamhi standard plus with 435 newton so this is the best one tested in the pull test then we have the high transparency we did not test anything except for the thread test and then we have the water washable which is one of the worst ever tested except for the Sierra Tenacious this one tested at 266 newton meters so it is at the second last place of the resin testing gauntlet then the push test the prime is somewhere in the middle it's behind the Yamhi standard plus at 143 newton quickly following behind the rigid with 141 newton so it's somewhere in the middle of the pack then we have the water washable which came in at 106 newton and is lagging behind severely we have better resins in the water washable department the young he the sunlu did way better than this nova water washable then we have the thread strength test and there's one big surprise this high transparency tested better than all the rest of the nova lineup so the transparent one came in at 21 newton before failing then we have the prime and the water washable coming in at 19 newton before failing so it's leading at the back of the pack it's not one of the best it's not the worst one it's somewhere in the middle then for the stiffness test the prime was one of the best it is coming just behind the sunlu standard which was a fraction of a bit stiffer than the nova but it came in at the second place and then we have the nova water washable which was really a big surprise so we were able to get 12 out of 12 steps so we were able to reach the last mark of the testing piece and it came in as one of the most flexible prints that we have ever tested reaching 12 out of 12 so this is a good combination of flexibility and still giving fairly okay results in the strength tests then we have warping this is a new one i have added these to the charts because it's getting hard to remember which resins were very bad at warping and which ones were okay so the resins that did very good with almost zero warping were the Sunlu ABS, the Art and Engineering from Yamhi, the Siraya Blue, the Sunlu Toughness and the Siraya Tenacious. Then we have the Conjure Tough and the Siraya Fast which all showed minimal warping. Then we have the Anacupic Eco and the Nova Prime. So this was somewhere in between of the warping between the worst I ever had and the best ones I ever had. And then we have following closely behind as one of the worst warping resins which is the Nova 3D water washable. Then we have the Yang He standard, the Conjure Rigid, the Sun Lu standard, the Yang He water washable and the Sun Lu water washable. We're all very bad at warping. We had crooked pieces. So if you are going to print thin intricate stuff that need to be straight, those resins are better to be avoided for that purpose. Then we have pricing. I have updated all the prices that you can see. So those are the prices for the EU market, not shipped, all right. There are prices for, from companies that include shipping, but that is something that I didn't account for. So we have the Nova Prime coming in at 25 euros, which is the cheapest resin we have tested so far. And I think the results are okay. So it's a very stiff, it's a very strong resin. It's a bit brittle. So that's something to look out for, but for the price 25 euro, this is an okay resin to print with. Then we have the Nova water washable, which came in at about 38.99, which is in my opinion, a bit too expensive. We have better resins for that price point. This came out fairly weak comparing to other resins. So I think the 38.99 for this water washable is a bit too expensive. So then we have the high transparency coming in at 35 euro. So they claim that this is a non-yellowing resin. It takes about six seconds for a layer. So you have to take a lot of time to print this. But if you are printing things without supports, they come out super clear. And that is very obvious looking at this model. Would I use it for other things than like these busts? Hell no. <laughs> So that's going to be it for the resin testing gauntlet. Nova 3D provided a very good resin price to performance. This water washable is something that I, hmm, if you get it for a steal, yeah, then go ahead. But there are better water washables. And if you need high transparency resins that do not yellow, then this Nova 3D high transparency is going to be the resin for you. So that's going to be it for me. I want to thank you for watching. And I want to thank Nova 3D for providing these samples for me to test. And guys, 
I see you in the next one.